there quilty friends it's Carolina Moore your favorite sewing and quilting youtuber and today I'm here with a haul video I don't do a lot of these but this summer I went to Missouri Star Academy where I got to teach and I got to spend a couple days on the town in Hamilton Missouri at the Missouri Star Quilt Company which is a bunch of shops all through downtown Hamilton and I wanted to show you some of the fun things that I picked up you ready let's get started Okay, this is a lot. Um, Y'all, they had so much good stuff there. And all this stuff should be on their website as well. I'll link down to the website below so that you can find all these great things. I did not go and buy everything all at once. I did buy this like over the course of days. It was a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, but, um, it was fun for sure. <laughs> I had such a blast um, at Missouri Star and um, teaching with the other teachers, with the students, with the staff of Missouri Star. If you have a chance to travel, there is a reason that they call Hamilton Quilt Town USA because it 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 is it's Quilt Town USA. So yes, okay. This is. All right, we're gonna start off with some things that I bought in the machine shed. Um, I may have gone there more than once. We're gonna see what's in these bags as I go through them. Um, and we'll keep pulling out receipts because I, 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 I had a great time. Okay, so this is um, the So Steady Grid Glider. I did not have one of these yet. And when I saw it there, I thought, oh, well, this is gonna be the perfect time for me to pick this up. Um, this is a slider mat that sticks right on your sewing machine and it has a hole right there for your needle plate um, and it lets you line up your quarter inch beautifully perfectly um, so I talk about diagonal seam tape all the time this basically has your diagonal seam tape built in and it also has some of the different angled lines and grid lines um, so this is a so steady grid glider and I'll be um, putting this on my machine hopefully to make my life a little even easier. Um, all right, let me tuck these things back in the bag so that I don't lose my mind later trying to figure out what I open and where things go. All right, bag, you stay there. Okay. Oh, there's the lid. All right. I also saw several people picking up this applique set and I had to grab one myself. So this is the Jilly Studio applique set. And let's look at the back. It's this beautiful tin. I love good packaging. I think we've talked about this before. And so this is for um, needle turn applique, which is hand applique, but it has everything we need. The precision tip with the applique glue. These are the sticky th thimbles. Will this open? Yep. Come here. These little polka dots, sticky thimbles. Um, this is like a little stiletto, applique needles, and a starch brush. So it looks like all I need is my fabric, my starch, and my pattern, and then I can get going with some needle turn applique. I've done a little bit in the past, so I took a class on needle turn applique, and it was a lot of fun. It's just a matter of finding time, but I love that it's all in a perfect little tin that is all set and ready for me to take with me. To be able to do my applique so that's fabulous i also got the bias ruler and this binding tool i'm hoping to talk about these later in an upcoming video um, i met the designer of these tools um, and so of course i had to check these out try them out so i have them um, I won't be doing a full demo video because gosh, if I were to do demo vi demos on everything that I got, um, that would make this like a three day long video. We're going to have to trim this up, but if there's anything that you really want to see soon, go ahead into the comments and mention in the comments what it is that you would love to see. Um, and then I will try to get to those first. I'll put those like higher up on the list. Sound fair? Okay. Hometown Leatherworks 
is actually in Hamilton, Missouri as well. Um, and they work with Missouri Star. And these I actually didn't purchase. So full disclosure, they did give these to me for me to give these to me so that I could try them. And I'm very excited to try them. So this is a transfer paper. And that transfer paper will transfer designs onto full grain leather. So you've got leather that you've like infused your design into and they gave me white and um, a natural, so two different colors to try out. And this lamb leather, I'm supposed to be able to sew through it on my regular domestic sewing machine. So I should be able to make leather projects right here at home without any fancy industrial style machines. So I can't wait to try that out. Um, they gave me this little sample. So this is their design on the full grain leather. Um, and they had some other, like a bookmark and some earrings and a key ring. So they had just some different samples that they um, showed me of things that can be made with their leather. Are these earrings so cute? I, I love this for being able to make custom things. You can take pictures of your grandkids, your, of your pets, um, like photos that you've taken of places you've been, and you can put them right on leather to make leather projects. And I have a couple ideas for this that I can't wait to try out. So that is Hometown Leatherworks. I'm gonna tuck these in the bag over here as well as we keep going through. Okay, this one I already opened. Find, oh, this is the front. So this is the front. It looks like this. They're 10 inch paper piecing squares. And you all know I love paper piecing. I mean, I love all the techniques. So of course you know that I love paper, paper piecing since I love all the techniques. But this is Missouri Star and they have their own tissue for paper piecing. And I have uploaded some YouTube shorts of um, the crazy quilts that I saw there at the um, Missouri Quilt Museum in Hamilton, Missouri. And this would be perfect for stitching your crazy quilts on. So um, these are 10 inch squares to be able to do things like um, string quilts. Um, is there, I wanna say, is there a picture on here somewhere? Not on there. Anyway. Yeah, here. So for doing things like string quilts, crazy quilts, any projects like that would be great on these 10 inch foundation squares. Hoping to work on a project on this as well. Okay, these, I gasped when I saw these. I said, these are so perfect. I wish I would have come up with this idea. This is a solution that I've been wanting, but didn't even have it fully formed in my head. And someone came up with the perfect idea. Y'all. This is a binder. This one is for bags and totes. I've already put my little logo sticker on there and it's a pattern storage binder. So you can take your patterns and put them right in these sleeves. So I have some patterns over here that need to go in here. I can just tuck my patterns in here. And then this is my pattern storage and organization. And because and this works perfect with my postcard patterns for the box bag template, because these patterns are just one side and then the other side, I can tuck them in and use them right from the binder. No having to flip through, find, lose, have them fall through the cracks. Um, you can print your patterns and just tuck them in this folder and then you have all of your patterns right here in pattern binder. So I got bags and totes and then this one is holiday, but mostly because I love the color of this one and I'll probably put a sticker over this and just use this for my, <coughs> excuse me, I use this for my everyday patterns and of course there's refill packs. So um, I think there's 10 in here that I think it's two, four. Yeah, it looks like there's 10 in here and then there's refill packs of 10. So you can add more and more patterns in your pattern binders. Genius. Um, and how cute is this and lovely is this for storage? Right? I love it. Okay, so those are the pattern binders. Let me tuck these into my bag. 
and we'll keep going. This is going to be a long video. Okay. This is stuff that I got at the Mercantile because um, I couldn't help myself. This is a giant pink cushion and it's pink and I thought it needed to be here in my decor. I like putting like little Easter eggs behind me for y'all to look at in the background when I'm chatting. So this giant pink cushion, of course, had to be up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put her up here now. There we go. Giant pink cushion. There. And yes, I do have my blinged out baby lock in the background here. Okay. What else? What else? Um, we know I'm addicted to scissors and they had these really cute hexi handled scissors. So those are going to go up here in my scissor collection. I don't even need to put those in that bag. And then um, different kinds of triangle paper because the foundation piecing water pen works with different kinds of triangle paper and I didn't have any of the Primitive Gatherings foundation paper in stock. This is called Paper Caper Mini Quilts. Six bright English paper piece projects. It's by Sue Daly. This is pop out English paper piecing. Um, let me show you what that means. So you have your book, you have your instructions, right? Designs, bonus designs, things. And then these are, I don't want to pop them out yet, but these are the pieces. Can you see that? They are right in the book. So the instructions, the pieces, everything is right. It's, 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 it's in the book y'all. So you don't need to get the book and then still go find the papers and find the right size papers and the right shape papers. Um, they put it all, they put it all in the book and this right here, here, I'll pop one of these out. This is a bad to pop out. This is a little box. So this will fold like this. This you would glue or tape to the other side. And now you would have a box to hold your pieces in and to hold your project in. So clever. I'm so impressed by whoever came up with this idea and Sue Daly, if it was her coming up with the idea or just her making it happen, either way, like this is just, it, so smart. Love this. Okay. So those are, um, I got these in the Mercantile at, um, at Missouri Star Quilt Company because there are lots of stores next to each other and next to each other and next to each other. Um, these I got in the main shop and these are their zippers that have like, this one has little sewing machines on the edges. This one has, this is diamonds, this one is scissors. Um, is this bunny rabbits or dress forms? I'm not, I don't know. They're cute little lacy looking zippers. Um, they're called Fancy Zip. And these are um, available through Missouri Star. And I want to work on some videos showing you how to apply fancy zippers on your zipper pouches and on your zipper bags to be able to get these fun looks on your projects. Okay. And then these are some of the um, zipper charms. I already have some other Kathy Holden zipper charms, but these ones say quilter, maker, and sewist. I had to get those. And then last thing in this bag was just a um, Missouri Stars logo um, charm holder. Okay, so I'm going to take these, tuck these into bag, and then I have one more bag, and I believe all of this bag... Yes, all of this bag is from the accessories store. I believe so. 
Um, the accessory store is all bag making products. And so of course I had to go a little splurge wild on bag making products because I've got lots of bag making videos and bag making patterns and projects coming your way. So I went ahead and stocked up on some fun things. This is Sally Tomato Faux Leather. Like I wish you could feel how squishy and butter soft this faux leather is. It feels so good. So I got it in this kind of mustardy green. And then I got a more textured one in um, this teal. This is Craft Tex and I got it in two colors. Um, Craft Tex is paper fabric. So it's like fabric, but it's made out of paper fibers. Um, so it gives a different texture. I can't wait to add this to some of my art gallery fabrics to make projects with this. It just, um, Ha it has a sturdiness to it already, so you don't need to add an interfacing or inner lining to it. Um, but how cute is that? Um, oh, and I also got this, again, buttery Sally Tomato faux leather. Um, this one's in like a hide natural brown kind of look, like a weathered brown. Um, this has um, a pattern in it. But really, I wanted to start playing with some more of these clutches. So it's not so much for the pattern here, but to be able to play with um, some of these different hardwares. Really great tote handles. You can get pre-made tote handles, um, which is so smart that you can, you don't have to make your bag handles. They can be pre-made. Um, I got some different zippers on a roll. This one's Sally Tomato. It's gray tape with a nickel coil. And this is um, just a white zipper with white um, white zips on there. And then I got two more um, clasps. So this is a big, huge clasp, and that looks like so much fun to play with. And this one is a tiny little clasp um, for more bags, y'all. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I mean, I enjoy shopping clearly, and I enjoy spending money on projects that I'm going to make and dreaming up these projects, but I was having such a good time with the people, with the town. Um, I got to stay in the retreat center right across, that was like right on main street across from most of the stores. Um, and I had a great time. So Missouri Star Academy is in the early summer. Watch out for it next year. I highly recommend going. They do an amazing job. Or if you can't wait that long, Missouri Star Birthday Bash is in September. So keep an eye out for information on Missouri Star Birthday Bash for September because that should be a fun time as well. Friends, that's all I have for you today, but make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, pop those down below and I will see you right here real soon. Bye for now.